These are different types of surface mining. Strip mining. Strip mining is the practice of mining a seam of mineral by first removing a long strip of oil lying soil and rock. It is most commonly used to mine coal and lignite. Strip mining is only practical when the ore body to be excavated is relatively near the surface. This type of mining uses some of the largest machines on earth, including bucket wheel excavators, which can move as much as 12,000 cubic meters of earth per hour. Open pit mining. Open pit mining refers to a method of extracting rocks or mineral from the earth through the removal from an open pit or burrow. Also, uh, open pit mining is sometimes mistakenly referred to as a strip mining. The two methods are different. Mountain top removal. The technique was being used increasingly in recent years in the Appalachian coal fields of West Virginia, Kentucky, Virginia and Tennessee in the United States. The profound change in topography and disturbance of pre-exciting ecosystems have made mountain top removal highly controversial. Dredging Dredging is a method for mining below the water table. It is mostly associated with gold mining. Small dredges often use suction to bring the mine's material up from the bottom of the water body. Historically, large-scale dredging often used a floating dredge, a barge-like vessel with scooped material up from a conveyor belt in front, removed the desirable component on board and returned the unwanted material via another conveyor belt and back. In gravel filled river valleys with shallow water tables, a floating dredge could work its way through the loose sediment in a pond of its own making. High wall mining High wall mining is another form of surface mining that evolved from auger mining. In high wall mining, the coal seam is penetrated by a continuous miner propelled by a hydraulic push beam transfer mechanism. A typical cycle includes sumping, launch, pushing forward, and shearing, raising and lowering the cutter boom to cut the entire haste of the coal seam. The push beam system can penetrate nearly 1000 feet into the coal seam. One patent high wall mining system uses auger enclosed inside the push beam that prevents the mine coal from being contaminated by rock debris during the conveyor. Drift mining is either the mining of an ore deposit by underground map or the working of coal seams accessed by edits driven into the surface outcrop of the coal bed. A drift mine is an underground mine in which the entry or access is above water level and generally on the slope of a hill, driven horizontally into the ore seam. Slope mining is a method of accessing valuable geological material such as coal or ore. A sloping access shaft travels downwards towards desired material. Slope miners differ from shaft and drift mines, which access resources by tunneling straight down or horizontally, respectively. In slope mining, the primary access to the mine is on an incline. Mine hoists may still be used to raise and lower loads on the incline if it is steep, but on shallower slopes, conveyor belts, locomotives or trucks may do the work. Drainage and ventilation of slope mines may be done using the primary slope or it may be done using auxiliary shaft or bore hole. Long wall mining Long wall mining is a form of underground coal mining, where a long wall of coal is mined in a single slice. The basic idea is to remove essentially all the coal from broad coal face and allow the roof and overlying rock to collapse into the void behind, while maintaining a safe working space along the face for the miner. Room and pillar, also called pillar and stell, is a mining system in which the mined material is extracted across the horizontal plane creating horizontal arrays of rooms and pillars. The ore is extracted in two phases. In the first, pillars of untouched material are left to support the roof of a body, and open areas or rooms are extracted underground. The pillars are then partially extracted in the same manner 
is a board and pillar method. The technique is usually used for relatively flat lying deposits, such as those that follow a particular strat. The room and pillar system is used in mining coal, iron and base metals ores, particularly when found as mantra or blanket deposit, stone and aggregates, talc, soda, ash and pot. The key to successful room and pillar mining is in the selection of the optimum pillar size. In general practice, the size of both room and pillars are kept almost equal, while in board and pillar, pillar size is much larger than board. If the pillars are too small, the mine will collapse, but if they are too large, the significant quantities of valuable material will be left behind, reducing the profitability of the mine.